Hello and welcome to week 11. Okay, this week we're going to read chapter 26 and I'm going to link a few PowerPoint slides about the Cold War. So um, it's, it's fascinating. In World War II, the United States and the USSR, who are the main players in the Cold War, sometimes China also is a player, um, but in World War II, the United States and the USSR, they were allies. They helped each other. And, um, and then after, they were very much not allies. And part of that is thought to be um, based on President Truman's decision to have a policy of containment. President Truman um, became the 33rd president in April of 1945 when President Roosevelt passed away. He was a farm boy from Missouri. He had a different view of the world and foreign policy than the well-traveled Franklin Roosevelt. Um, so the Truman Doctrine was largely based on um, the policy of containment and that has its roots. I didn't see this in the chapter, but George Kinnan was an ambassador to Moscow. And in 1946, he sent a long telegram and it was long. It was 8,000 words. And it was his analysis of, um, the, of the state of the Soviet Union. And this drove our foreign policy and it really drove um, Truman's policy of containment. Kennan had a long history with the USSR. In 1933, he was there as part of the establishment of the US Embassy in the Soviet Union. And Kennan wrote in 1946 that he could not foresee a permanent peaceful coexistence between the USSR and the West. And he felt that the leadership of the USSR was insecure and would seek power by expanding their empire. And that is what we saw after World War II. They wanted um, land back that, that they had lost. And um, Tucker Carlson recently interviewed Vladimir Putin. He used a interpreter, but, and I'll, I'll link the episode in my announcement, but it was fascinating because Putin went through the geographic history of Russia and they, they do, they want back their land and nobody likes anything taken from them. And toddlers, you know, you can figure out how foreign policy is going to go just by watching toddlers. If one jerks a toy out of the other's hands, a fight's going to ensue. We don't like things taken from us. It's against our, our human nature. So Truman's policy of containment was formally implemented in 1947. And it was a policy that the U.S. would provide aid in various forms, political, military, economic, um, to democratic countries who were under the threat of having communism expand into their country. It included the Marshall Plan, which was democratic aid to countries in Western Europe. And so when the Korean War kicked off in 1950, North Korea, which was communist, invaded South Korea, we went to help. That's part of Truman's policy of containment, keep communism in North Korea. When the Vietnamese went to war, North Vietnam invaded South Vietnam in the 60s, we went to help contain communism in North Vietnam. And it really, it really, really amped up in 1947 because the USSR was pressuring Turkey and threatening to take over Greece. And so we, we just wanted communism contained where it was. And Truman's policy of containment grabbed another gear in the Eisenhower years because Eisenhower felt that communism would spread. He had a domino theory of the spread of communism. So that's what we're learning about this week. The Cold War, we have the fabulous, um, the Cuban Missile Crisis, uh, where we almost went to serious war. Uh, the USSR placed nuclear warheads on the coast of Cuba and aimed at the United States. This was a huge problem because they could launch them from Eastern Europe and it would take almost an hour for them to get here. They launched them from Cuba, it's minutes, just very few minutes. So this was a huge problem and Kennedy's handling of it, I'll include some slides, really helped boost his um, foreign policy image after the failed Bay of Pigs. So this is a fabulous chapter. You have questions one through five at the end. 
please um, read the chapter, three, question, three sentences each for each question, and reach out to me with any questions. And I hope you're having a wonderful week and that the weather is sunny and fabulous where you are.